Good morning and welcome back to my channel. You join me on a day that I need a real glow up and a real kind of focus to this evening. <laughs> I'm gonna tie my hair up because I've had hair on in it for the last 24 hours and so it's looking particularly greasy. But right, today is Saturday. It is Saturday the 13th of January. It's a very exciting day. For those of you who watched the last vlog where I set my goals for 2024, one of my goals is to have more friends round for dinner. And we have a dinner party this afternoon. They're arriving sometime between 4 and 5 p.m. So it is now quarter to 10. There's lots of things we need to do today, but there's lots of things I also need to just do for myself and for my hobbies and everything like that. So I'm having my cup of tea. This is my second cup of tea of the day. Let's not judge. And I've got my bottle of water ready, albeit I haven't actually drunk anything from it. I know that because of today being so focused around obviously this dinner party and therefore I imagine from five onwards, I'm probably not going to walk that many steps. I really want to get out in a moment when I finished, obviously, this and drinking my tea to the gym, get on a treadmill and just like get ahead of myself in terms of like the number of steps that I want to do today. So the first thing on my little to-do list, because I love written to-do lists. I just think they're the best. So the first thing I've got on there is go for a gym walk. The second thing on there, I, I think I mentioned this actually in the last vlog as well. I've obviously got every single book that I've read in 2023 stacked up in the kitchen. And considering obviously we're about to have guests over and we need the kitchen for prepping, I really want to take those today down to the charity shop, give them to the charity shop, kind of return them because most of them were actually bought from there and go get some new books. So that's going to be my like morning before any of this properly kicks off. So go to the gym, come back and pick up the books and return them. I've got a couple of like Instagram-y YouTube bits to do. I need to edit tomorrow's video. I need to post an Instagram reel because I'm posting every other day at the moment. I need to catch up with a couple of comments I've had on recent Instagram posts that I haven't um, caught up with. And then we get into the prep for this afternoon slash this evening. So there's washing drying in the living room and it's drying there because I purposefully put it on wash the day before yesterday. So it should be dry now. So I need to put that away. We need to clean the kitchen and the kind of living space. Alex is going to do the bathroom. So so I obviously have not put that on my list. Then I'm in charge of laying the table and then I'm gonna be making the dessert. And I really want to, if I have time, I might do when I'm going to return my books, just to pick up some flowers. There is nothing nicer than fresh flowers. And I mean, I know I'm a little bit biased. For those of you who don't know, I did grow up on a flower nursery. So my dad and my granddad and my brother and my great granddad and so many people in my life grow cut flowers for a living. So I know I'm obviously a little bit biased of it, but I absolutely love cut flowers. Just don't tell my dad I'd buy them from the supermarket because I think that will really upset his soul. So therefore this is today's list. I think I'm gonna have potentially today as a video and then tomorrow as a video. Today's literally all about the things that I have to do today because they either go live today or live tomorrow. And then loads of prep for a dinner party, which I'm really excited about. This will be our third dinner party we've hosted in this flat, which is, I think obviously my third dinner party I've hosted ever. It's the second time I've done it with these two people though. We've now got a little thing going on, which I actually really enjoy, where we alternate and they did dinner at ours, we did dinner at theirs, etc., etc. Alex is doing a lot of the prep because the friends that are coming over are French and Alex is French and so therefore he wants to cook French food for them. So yeah, he's doing a lot of the prep. I am just doing dessert because I have a sweet tooth and that's my favourite course. So yeah, a really good list of things to do today. Like I said, the first thing I want to do is get off to the gym and catch up with some steps. For those of you who, I feel like I'm talking about goals a lot at the moment because obviously they're still on my mind and I'm hoping they'll be on my mind for a really long time. But for those of you who didn't see, obviously my goal for this year is to walk on average 10,000 steps a day and until we got to today well obviously it drags the average down because I've walked like three steps I was averaging just over 10,000 steps so I am doing very well I just need to obviously walk today because obviously today's steps are 128 currently <laughs> and then I'm gonna go to the gym and let's get Saturday started it's gonna be a really good day I've got good feelings
So it is a little while later. I've got back from the gym. I had a shower. We have cleaned the flat. Alex is now just mopping the floors, but it means I have put away my washing. I have cleaned the kitchen and that's as far as I've got. But that's like three things now off the to-do list. They now actually may be arriving a bit later than we originally thought. So we might actually have a bit more time to get through this list, which is amazing. When Alex is finished, we're gonna sit and wait for the floor to dry for a bit and I think we're gonna go have some lunch. And then we're gonna go head into town and sort out the book returns. So because we needed something to cook in the oven now, we couldn't really like go and leave it. So yeah, we've delayed going into town until after lunch, but we're making good progress. I need to do some computer bits about editing and getting things ready like that. So I think that's what I will start to work on now while the floor is drying and uh, yeah it's been a very productive day so far tomorrow I will do my like end of week habit check-in which I will film in a se separate video but yeah I need to get some video edits done so that's what I'm going to work on now while we wait for the floor to dry then we're going to have some lunch then we'll go to the bookshop and then I'll probably come back and finish this off and then it'll be time to lay the table make the dessert and get ready for this evening which is very exciting so let's go A little bit later, we've just got back from town. You would have seen that we bought the most stunning, like orangey red roses. They were beautiful and I've split them across two vases. One's gonna go in the middle of the table for when we decorate the table later today. But in the meantime, let me show you what books I bought. So I returned, I say returned, I gifted because that's how charity shops work. But I bought them from that charity shop, so it feels like I've returned them. Brought my books to the charity shop, gifted them all away, and I've got some new ones because I just, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be that person that has like a wall worth of books. I just really like the thought and the, the feeling that the books on my bookshelf are books that I've still got to look forward to and get excited to read. And then the books that I've read, I take to the shop. I've got a couple here that I have picked up. The first one is The Catch by TM Logan. Last year I read The Holiday, which is the little sticker at the top here. And this is the same author, but a different book. And I actually really enjoyed The Holiday. So I thought I'd pick up another one from this author. All of the books I picked up today, I think came to about 20 pounds, which obviously isn't bad when you consider, I think this book on its own would be nine pounds. I then got Anthony Horowitz, Magpie Murders. And I think I've heard so much about this author, but I've actually never read anything from them we all know i love those types of books then we've got the the good liar by nicholas searle and then it says can you read between the lines and this is about a con man who goes for his last con and i'm assuming some stuff goes wrong this one i feel like i've heard about i mean it's sold over five million copies but i feel like i've heard about but i don't also know much about it but i thought this was a nice difference to loads of like detection novels so this is delia owens where the crawdad crawdads sing and so yeah i have not really heard a huge amount about this but i thought it was a slightly different book to read so excited to read that one then i've got our country friends by Gary Steingart, I think is how um, his surname is pronounced. And this is about eight friends who during the pandemic moved to the countryside. One thing I really learned last year is that I really enjoy books that aren't detective novels and aren't sci-fi and just like a little bit of a little bit of something different so i thought this was that for me so yeah picked that one up this one i've seen the play but i haven't actually read 
the book. This is Mark Haddon's The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. I watched the National Theatre production. It wasn't at the National, I can't remember where it was. It was somewhere in the West End. But yeah, I watched that, I think 2018, maybe 19. And it was so good. It's one of those books I feel like I just need to read. And then the very last book, is more of a typical Katie read. So this is a bit more of a Stephen King style novel. This is Thomas Old, I think you pronounce that as, I don't know how you pronounce their surname, but this is called Hex and it's about a 17th century woman whose eyes and mouths are sewn shut and the people in the village kind of get used to her being there but then something goes wrong. So yeah, these are my books that I've picked up. I've also still got some books from the previous time I went to the charity shop. I think I've still about four of those books left, but I think I bought 10 back then. So yeah, I, I now have like a good number of books to work my way through, a good number of genres. So yeah, very excited to give these a little read. So where are we with the to-do list? We've returned the 2023 reads. We have bought flowers and I am halfway through editing the vlog for tomorrow. So I need to finish that one off and then I can obviously get that one scheduled. And then I need to edit an Instagram reel, catch up with some Instagram comments and then it's the last little bits and bobs for the dinner party later today. But yeah, these are the book purchases. I'm just gonna leave them on the end of the table for now and then I can leave them later. I think a good, Good selection of books, very excited to give those a read. But I'm gonna pin my hair back. Let's get this video edited because I think this is gonna be one of the longer tasks for today. So let's go. Against that, new day. I am deciding to embrace it. I'm deciding to embrace the chill. We're gonna have a full set. Scrolling on my phone. Come back, I'm gonna make myself a new move. One of the main things that has to introduce her. Okay. Evil is all laid. We've got some of the samples that we have for the wedding that we didn't end up using. Our plates, the napkins in the wedding, our new tablecloth that we got for Christmas. Little bread basket is ready to put the bread in. We put the red wine out, but obviously the white one is still in the fridge. The roses are on the table. It's looking very cute. And then the bread is all ready to go. The gammon is ready to be cooked. What's this called again? The gratin is ready to go in the oven. And over there is the brownie and Alex is just making the starter ready. So yeah, good to go. So I've just got one thing left on my to-do list. Let me just tick off what I just did. So yeah, the only other thing I have to do is catching up on comments. I've caught up with the YouTube comments and I just need to catch up with Instagram ones, which is a thing that takes a lot longer, but I'm very much looking forward to it. I love, I love reading what people have like posted and put on my content and obviously like reacting and commenting back. It's one of the best things. But yeah, everything, is ready, everything is set. They're gonna get here in about an hour, which gives me an hour to go through and reply to comments, which is more than enough time. As you can probably tell, I have straightened my hair. It was just getting to the point where it was just looking a little bit unruly and therefore needed a little bit of shaping. So yeah, I have straightened my hair. I've topped up my makeup and I've popped on this, which is my kind of eyeshadow thing that's in my Project 10 pan. And it leaves like a really nice shimmery purple. I'm actually really enjoying it. It was one of those products that I put in to kind of encourage me to use it more. And because it's purple, I was kind of scared of it. And I was like, it's not gonna be that wearable. I'm not gonna be able to wear it very often. But I want to encourage myself potentially to push myself out of my comfort zone and use something that I do really like, but I just haven't used in months. And it's actually surprisingly wearable. Like you don't really notice it's purple unless you're like really, really looking and paying attention. But I'm really, really excited already. And it's only the 13th to film my January favorite and Project 10 pan update because I've made, I've made some progress, like some, some like, some really solid progress. A couple of empties already. And then the pan on my blush. I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a little I'm gonna give you a little um sneak peek. Look at this. Look at that. It's growing. So yeah, I 
I'm absolutely loving it and I'm really enjoying the fact if you haven't seen my intro to my project 10 pan obviously go and give that a watch but I'm really really enjoying the fact that at the end of the month if I sell these products I kind of don't want to have in my everyday rotation anymore I can swap them out one of the best decisions I ever made changing the rules of that yeah this is the makeup today and yeah, I'm going to go catch up with some Instagram content to finish off the last of my water that I need to drink by the end of the day. And then they should be here. And it's really exciting. Dinner party number three or the first dinner party of 2024. And we all know now that my New Year's resolution is to do more of these. And I have a numerical goal. And this is number one on that goal. And I'm so excited to spend some good quality time with some mates on a Saturday night. So I will speak to you guys later. Not gonna lie, this has been the highlight of the evening. But yeah, they've left. Not too much to put away. I think we actually did quite a good job of putting away as we went. A few bits and bobs we had out for the evening. Did you keep the cork for the wine? It's gotta be there, there's one rolling around. You managed to finish off two more of your whiskies, so you know. I am going to set you the task of drinking them all by October. Oh my god, it was actually so much fun. Put these in the wash. Right, if I carry all the glasses over, do you think there's space for them? Maybe not all of them, but most of them, yeah. There you go. All tied up. It's like they were never here. Also moved, I had the wax burner in here so that it smelled nice, but I've moved it back into the living room back where it kind of belongs. But yeah, they've gone home. It is half 11 and we are gonna go to bed. We actually hosted, in my personal humble opinion, a successful dinner party. It was so much fun. They arrived about six o'clock. It is now half past 11. We've tidied up. The flat looks like they were never here. We had such nice food. We had pate and homemade bread for starters. Then we had gammon, potato gratin and green beans for main. And then we had a sort of like a brownie fudge thing with ice cream and sauce for dinner for pudding. And it was so good. It was so much fun it was so nice to have some friends around for dinner yeah that is it it is now basically the end of saturday we're gonna get ready for bed and go to sleep it has been such a fun day i feel like we've lost the entire day prepping for this evening but it's been such a fun day i will remember this day forever it's one of those things where i feel like if you make time for something that means a lot to you you like so remember it and I feel like tonight for me was one of those nights and I had so much fun it was honestly so good I'm so glad we did it it is now time to get ready to go to bed I'm going to start a new vlog in the morning it's going to be my weekly reset my weekly getting ready for a whole new week vlog so yeah I really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up click subscribe leave a comment it's been these last couple of vlogs and these last couple of videos have been so much fun i've really really enjoyed filming and editing and posting them for you and it's really reminding me of all the things that i love about this and all the reasons why i love doing this so any of those of you who have been here since the beginning thank you so much for staying with me it means the absolute world and for those of you who have new welcome hi i hope you stick around thank you so so much i will see you guys in my next video bye